Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Starlord. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a super cool hidden loot room in LEGO Fortnite. So I've encountered the problem since launch where somebody will go into my chests and start taking items out that I've been crafting and working really, really hard for. Now, I'm not going to name any names, <coughs> my son, um, but yeah, they steal a lot of my loot. They take all of it and I've worked very hard to get those purple swords made of iron and it really annoys me. So what I've decided to do is start creating loot rooms that are hidden away so that people won't actually know where all of my precious loot is actually. Actually stored and that is what today's video is and I hope that you guys can follow it with ease I'm gonna try and keep it as simple as possible today too uh, just so you guys can see exactly how to create a really cool looking room just probably like the one that you're seeing on screen right now now, if you do end up enjoying this video, guys, don't forget to leave a like on it. And also, don't forget to follow the channel or subscribe to the channel, I guess, for more videos just like this in the future about LEGO Fortnite and all of its updates to come. Uh, but without further ado, guys, let's get into today's video. Okay, guys, so here we are in game. And basically, the first thing that you're going to want to do to follow this exact video, but you don't really have to follow it if you don't want to, because this secret room can be attached to any one of your builds. But for the sake and purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to do it with a specific building design that you can actually find right here in the Lego Fortnite build area. Uh, so if you go down all the way to Majestic Manors, you will see a uh, kind of building blueprint called the Humble Manor, which will cost 30 wood and 161 granite. This is the build that we're going to be using today, and I'm going to be placing it just here on the floor with the door open open and these two hallway areas right here. So bear in mind, those two hallway areas are where the secret room is going to be. So please make sure to leave a lot of space around where I'm standing right now, because that will actually be quite important. But other than that, if you don't already have the Majestic Manors, what I do suggest, guys, is go and level up a town in the desert area of LEGO Fortnite. So find any desert biome and just build a random town, level it all the way up, and that is actually when you unlock the ability to start creating the humble manor and all of the majestic manners type of blueprints. Um, also, my son joined my game. He's over there flying. So yeah, um, but let's get into building this first and I will see you guys after I have finished. Okay, so we're almost done on actually creating this build, and as you can obviously see, I did all of this in creative, and I actually did it quite quickly, but I do appreciate that you guys may actually find it a bit more difficult if you're doing it in an actual survival world. Um, but here we actually have the building itself. What I'm actually going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to wait until it becomes daytime, just so we can see exactly what I'm doing a little bit easier, and what I definitely would suggest is make sure to just keep on playing playing this video back if you do get lost in the next couple of steps because it is quite hard to explain but I will be doing my best to explain it properly and make it as easy as possible uh, to follow for you guys at home. So uh, yeah, we will soon get into that. Okay, so the first thing that we're actually going to want to do, and I know this sounds very bizarre, but we're actually going to want to destroy two things. Uh, well, actually, a couple of things, but the first thing is going to be this little ink cove right here on the right-hand side. Uh, I find that if you use one of the best pickaxes, it's actually quite easy to just destroy them in one. So we're going to destroy the second one right there. Destroy this middle area right here. And again, just so there's no wall blocking the middle area right here at all. Then we're going to destroy this bit right there. We're going to keep this little line because this is actually going to help us navigate where we need to build in a second. This little square right here we're going to destroy. This little square right here we're going to also destroy. And this wall right here. So your finished kind of project or product should actually be something a little bit like this. So just as long as you can pause the video and make sure that your little kind of contraption looks exactly like this right here, guys. Okay, so once we've got that, guys, what you want to do is open up your build menu. We're going to navigate over to building parts and then go to the wall section and continue to go down until you first start to see the castle walls. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get two castle wall 05s. So as you can see on the right hand side, it should be a 2 by 16 by 12 and it should look exactly like this. 
We're going to select this, and we're going to make sure that when we rotate this, we have these kind of brown areas poking inwards towards, away from us, basically. And what we're going to do is snap this onto this wall right here. We're going to go over to this wall here on the left-hand side. We're going to rotate it again. So again, the brown parts are sticking inwards, and then we're going to attach it once more. And this will actually allow us to place down our foundation correctly. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, so once we've done that, go and navigate over to Foundations. We're going to go down to Granite Foundations, and we're going to try and select the largest one, which should be 16 by 16 by 2. Click that right there, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to aim at this foundation that's already there because of when we built this. We're going to then snap it to it, and then we're going to actually navigate it to the left-hand side, just underneath this wall right here. Once we've done that, we can then kind of lock onto our placed piece, press down another foundation right here, walk backwards, place down another foundation, walk backwards one more, and place down another foundation right there. And then we're going to navigate back over to the granite foundation that's just next to the first one that you see, which should be this long piece. Clip it over to there and place down one, two, and then three four and this just kind of makes it uh, so that we don't put an excess amount of uh, foundation down on the floor because i am aware that sometimes it does ruin the look of the buildings themselves once we've done that we're then going back to the wall section navigate back down to castle wall 05 and then we're going to rotate it once more connect it to this wall right here and it should look something a little bit like that once you've done that, go back into your build menu, go up to Castle Wall 4, and once again, guys, you just want to make sure that it's actually attached uh, all here. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach it to the very end of this wall right here. Then we're going to add another one to that, and then another one to that. And that should actually line up pretty perfectly with this area of wall here. So... Go into the build menu once more, castle wall 5, and then connect them all together like that. Now, if there's any kind of foundation that doesn't look right where you're seeing some and it's just like, no, I do not like that one bit, just navigate back over to it and see if you can try and snap it into the wall just like so so that it looks perfect. Also, I will stress this, if you're building this uh, building quite high up and you don't put enough uh, foundations under the initial first foundation, that's where you can actually spawn underneath the floorboards. So make sure that you do fill in these foundations as best as you can. But as of right now, guys, we've got the exterior done. We are now going to focus on the interior. So let's go and do that right now. Once inside, you're going to see these two archways on the first ground floor, and what we're going to do is get rid of them straight away, because they are a little bit too big to actually cover up with our hidden door contraption. So just destroy this one on the left right here, destroy this one on the right, and you should be left with a pillar in the middle. What we're going to do, go over to our build menu, make sure that you're in the interior section, just like you can see just above where I'm highlighting on my top right here. And we are going to find castle interior wall 2 by 8 by 12. So this one right here. So it should be the 4 from the bottom right there. What we're going to do is we're going to line up directly behind where you can see this pillar. And we're going to actually align it so that you've perfectly got a symmetrical looking wall either side. So that's just like that. Once we've done that, we're actually going to go all the way back down to interior. And we are going to go to 2 by 4 by 12 which is this one right here. So just make sure that it's castle interior wall, otherwise it will be too high. Once you've clicked it, then we're going to put it in this little left corner right here. And then we're also going to attach it to this wall right here. So you should actually have two new hallways that kind of lead into the room that we're building. Once we've done that, go back into your build menu. Go all the way down until we actually find the half wall section just here. And we are then going to find castle half wall 5. Oh, wait, sorry. Actually, it's castle half wall full. I, I do apologize. Once we've got a uh, castle half wall 3... We are going to then look upwards and connect it to the top of the roof right there. 
And this is actually what's going to make this cool little in-cove right here where we can actually put our hidden door either side right here. So let's move on to that in a second because it is getting dark and I do not want to do a video in the dark. I need freaking epic games to give me an always daytime freaking mode or something because it's making it super difficult. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a second, guys, once the sun comes back out and we will continue on the guy. Okay, guys, so what I actually decided to do was just throw down some torches because it is getting really late here in the UK right now. And I want to actually kind of wrap up this video so I can edit it and actually upload it on the channel for you guys. So once we've actually added these little uh, kind of gateway areas right here, we're going to go inside here we're then going to go over to where the fence area is and we're going to get rustic railing three once we've done that we're going to rotate it and line it up perfectly right here next to this wall so it should connect perfectly between here and there and i know there's no wall uh, floor underneath right here but just bear with me for a second because what we're going to do is we're going to connect another railing to this one right here just like so and you should have two railings all together. Once you've done that, we're actually going to then navigate to the wall section and we are again going to go to the interior wall because again, if you don't do that, it actually will not uh, fit everything together. And we are going to get this wall right here, which is the castle interior 2 by 16 by 12. And we're going to make sure that we actually put it right there. Once we've done that, we can actually then go to the 2 by 14 by 12 and we can add that there to make a perfect wall at the back. And then if you want to, again, feel free to put another wall right here. So you will have little gaps, but don't worry, guys, you can fill this in a little bit later on once you've actually got the gist of the kind of contraption and the secret doorway and everything like that. Once we've done that, what we're then going to do is start to go over to our toy section we're going to get two small wheels and we are going to place them here on the right hand side, here on the left hand side. And this just ensures that when we actually knock back the wall, it bounces off these rather than bouncing onto the wall. So it will take less damage when you actually bounce uh, dynamic objects onto small wheels. Once you've do done that, we're going to actually place a wheel right here and make sure that it's clipping into this fence just like that. We do not want it all the way out. We want it actually inside right here. And I will explain that a little bit later on, guys. So once we've done that, click it, go to the left hand side and just the exact same again. Make sure that the other tire is actually in the left hand side of that wall, too. Once we've done that, we've then got our cushions for this side, too. Next, we're going to go over to our dynamic foundation and we are going to place this on the floor right here. Now, again, with a pickaxe, what I need you guys to do is to destroy this piece of floor right here. Give it a couple of seconds and make sure it's fully destroyed and any others that are remaining, please destroy them too. And I will explain this in just a second. And this one on the right hand side, you're going to want to do the exact same. But again, we will fix this in a little bit, guys. So do not worry. Once you've done that, we're then going to go head over to our building parts area again. We're going to go to our floors or sorry, our walls. Go all the way down until we reach the half wall section again. And that can take a second. And we are going to go over to this wall right here, which I believe is the castle wall, uh, half wall four. So yeah, castle half wall four, guys. And we're going to want to then connect this to our dynamic foundation. Now, what I need you guys to do is if you can just kind of see very clearly on the video, every now and then it goes up and down here. You're going to want it to go up twice. So get it all the way to the bottom. Look up slightly so it pops up once and then slightly again until it pops up again. And then we're going to connect that to our dynamic foundation. So if you look at an angle, it's actually not touching the floor. That's quite important. I can't stress this enough. You are going to want to do that. Once we've done that, head back over to our toys area where you will find an activation switch. Get behind the fence right here and connect the activation switch to the side of the wall right here. You can do it any way you wish. I prefer to do it like that though. And once we've done that, we're then going to go to the back of the wall and we are going to go to large thruster and just connect it smack bang in the middle like so. 
Okay, so now that we've got that, we've kind of got the majority of the contraption done. And I'm going to show you guys how you can actually fill in all of this area to make it seamless. But just for now, we are going to check that is working. So what we need to do is make sure that we've get, got this hole open right here. We're going to click interact on this. And then what we're going to do is run to the middle so that it pushes us back into the actual room itself. And I'm thinking that one of two things is going to happen here. I'm going to click it and it's not going to move and I will explain it. But if not, um, I'm, I'm going to explain some stuff anyway. So please make sure to listen carefully. So we're going to click it. And as you can see, it moved, but then it stopped moving. So there is a reason for this. I don't know the reason, but I found that the way to fix it is just push it a little bit and it will actually kind of reset and then it will work again. So let me try that again. Push it forward. It opens up our little uh, secret doorway. Press interact. And there you go. That is what should normally happen. But if it doesn't, just make sure to push it once or twice and then run back. And it should actually fix and start to, you know, come forward and close the secret doorway. Now, once we've done that, we are going to need to add some floors here. Otherwise, it doesn't really look like a secret room to me, guys. So we're going to want to add the exact same floors that I had a couple of minutes ago. And they are the castle wall a uh, floor four so we're gonna then snap them over here over here over here and over here and as you can see it looks quite good but there is still a gap right there and we are going to fix that too guys uh, so open up your secret little room like so and then what we are going to need just give me one second, because I actually do kind of forget which one I used for this one. I think it was that. And we are going to want to connect this to uh, these floorboards that we just placed down a second ago. And just make sure that it isn't exceeding this part of the wall right here. We want it to end exactly where the entranceway of this little area is here. And then we're going to do the exact same thing right here, guys. Just make sure that it's actually connected right there, too. Now what we're going to do is, if you want to, to make this room look a little bit nicer, you can actually go over to Castle Wide Floor 1, and you can actually place them down here to make a little kind of hallway area. So feel free to do that, but just make sure that when you place down these little uh, floors, they're not c kind of getting in the way of underneath here. Make sure that there's no floors on these kind of bricks right here. And as you can see, it's sort of starting to take shape, uh, but we can actually make it just a slightly bit nicer by adding in uh, these castle floors right here. So let's see there and then right there. So that actually looks quite perfect to me right now. The only final touch that we need to do is this little area right here. And we're going to go over to our wall section one more time. Go all the way down until we get to the half wall section. And then just once again, we're going to want to use one of these whole, uh, walls. Uh, I per personally like the castle half wall four rather than three. Um, but it's completely up to you on what you use personally. But I personally like this one right here. We're going to place it down. And again, the reason for that is if I just shut our secret door, it kind of looks the exact same from here to there. And that should pretty much be the way that you kind of make your secret doorway. But as you probably noticed, if we go up the stairs right now, there is actually still a balcony that needs to be fixed. Um, that's actually quite easy. It's, it's actually really easy. We're going to destroy these parts of the balcony right here. There you go. We're going to destroy that little one piece right there. And that little one piece. Oh, God. That was the door. God damn it. Okay. We've not. We've got. It's okay. Don't worry. Let's continue. So we've destroyed these little half pieces right here. And what we're actually going to do is we are going to need to go to the floor section. Once again, we're going to navigate all the way to castle wide floor uh, number two, I believe it is. We're going to connect them so that they look like this. Let's see. Like that, like that, like that. And then literally the last thing to do, guys, is just go to your roof section. And what you're going to do is go all the way down until you get to the trims area. Select the largest trim that you can on the castle bit. And then you just basically want to connect all of these together, just like so. There you go. There you go. And then... 
there, there, and then we want a corner piece to just fit in nicely right there, and a corner piece right there, and that should actually now have the balcony. I need to freaking fix this door. My OCD is going crazy right now. Let me get, let me fix this door really quickly, guys, and we'll get get through with the video. Um, so let's see, where where the heck are the doors? Oh, there you go. Okay, so I think it's this one right here. That's perfect. Let's see. Okay, so now we've actually got our working balcony, so it just looks like basically this little area underneath us is just basically room for a balcony, and that's pretty much it. Uh, but if we go inside right now, go down the stairs, you will see our secret room looks pretty secret. Every now and then you can see a little gap in between, but don't worry, with a little bit of artistic kind of, you know, kind of chivalry, I, I don't really know what I'm saying anymore, but we're going to place down some really cool little uh, kind of decorative areas just to kind of bring attention away from this area, I guess. You can even block part of the doorway if you do wish to, just like this, just to make it seem like, you know what, actually, no, that isn't a secret room, but actually, it freaking is. Um, and what I like to do is just kind of put little decorative pieces just to make it look a little bit more like an unused area of the... Uh, of the house and as you can see push on this right here it opens up and we are now free to actually put all of our chests inside this room just like so and again when you want to fix it or shut the door just get here press interact it will slowly close and there you go. If you ever see a big kind of gap underneath, just make sure you fix the wall a little tiny bit and it should actually fix. That's the beauty of these dynamic ob objects. You can always push them about as long as they don't break. And there you go, guys. That is pretty much being a secret freaking room or a secret loot room in LEGO Fortnite. I really, really hope that this video was actually really easy to follow because I found this very difficult to actually voice. Um... But listen, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like on it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm actually going to be doing videos like this in the future. I've actually got one or two planned that I think you guys are really, really going to like. And uh, every new update with Fortnite, I am going to be covering it with guides, glitches, all sorts of videos like that. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. If there's any videos you would like to see that's similar to this one, please let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.